Arm, sounding good, buddy. Sounding good, man. I feel like I've been playing with these guys for years, man. You guys sound beautiful. It's amazing. I bought them dinner last night. It's amazing a little food. If you buy a musician food, they'll do anything for you. You know what I mean? It's like if you're ever negotiating a deal or a gig with musicians, I don't care if they're looking for $100 or $5,000, if you tell them there's a meal and a six-pack of beer, it's a done deal. It's just a weird thing with musicians. It goes back to the beginning. <laughs> we played for pizza and beer, didn't we, for many years? That's how you start out. Gary, I wanted to kind of keep the fact that I like to do the secret. But, you know. <laughs> Not a problem. I like food, too. I do. All right, we're going to do something now. Do you guys like Jimi Hendrix? We're going to play a little bit of Hendrix. I think it's important to play some Jimi Hendrix when you're at the Dallas International Guitar Show, right? In the spirit of Jimmy, man, because he was definitely one of my favorites, and I'm sure a lot of yours, too. But I gotta tell you, this weekend I heard a lot of players that are now becoming my favorites that I haven't, haven't heard in a long time. Last night, Johnny Highland came got up with Lance. Did you guys see the show? Johnny had his white cowboy hat, Lance had the black cowboy hat, and they were just going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and it sounded incredible. So, I think they sold a lot of cowboy hats today. They're coming up with the, Jan the, the Lance and Johnny, it's half black and half white. That way, you know, if you don't know if you want to be on the good side or the bad side, you can, you can just choose whenever you feel like it. <laughs> right, let me check my tuning here.
Give it up for Mike and Aaron, come on. Thank you. 